clients tell us things are clearer, more natural sounding, music sounds better, and they hear better in background noise. But wait, that's not all. They love the Bluetooth streaming with their smartphones and their TVs. If you want to learn about better hearing, call the Hearing House. Hearing aids are all we do, so we do it right. Wherever you are in life, Rasmussen University offers the flexibility and support you need to earn your associate's, bachelor's, or master's degree. Here in Wausau or online nationally at any time. With a dedicated advisor, mentoring, and career services before and after graduation, it's go time. You take the first step, and we'll help you take the next. Start now at rasmussen.edu. At Rasmussen University, green means go. The 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline is here and ready to help. Anyone in Wisconsin can call, text, or chat to get connected to a trained 988 counselor. Trained counselors are here to support anyone experiencing a suicidal, mental health, or substance use crisis. You can also contact 988 if you're concerned about someone. 988 is confidential and free to all Wisconsin residents. 988-247. Call, text, chat. Here to support you. Up North at 4 with Nate and Jeff starts now. Good afternoon, I'm Nate Myhock, and welcome to Up North at 4. Today on the show, we'll sit down with our local genealogical society and hear how you can learn about your past. Plus, Conrad and I try to de-stress. We'll get to all that in a bit, but first, here's your top four at four. Dogs truly are man's best friend, and of course, if you watch our show often enough, you know that Jeff's dog, Theo, is a common sight, and having a dog around just makes life better. And a group of inmates are now receiving a new lease, or leash, on life, all thanks to a nonprofit called Paws with a Cause. The organization has partnered with five prisons to help train service dogs. The inmates involved say it has allowed them to give back to society and, of course, create a bond with the pups, which is good for anyone, right? You know, I repeat myself often when I tell you how much I despise the Minnesota Vikings. And as a diehard Packers fan, there are no warm and fuzzy feelings for that team out west. But even I have to give credit where credit is due. Vikings receiver K.J. Osborne was in the news recently for helping to save a man's life. Osborne and a group of three others witnessed a car crash the other night and raced to the scene. The trio pulled the man from the car and waited until help arrived. Luckily, nobody was seriously injured, but I also won't be that upset if he plays well against the Packers next year. Maybe just a little, though. You know, in the Internet age, it now seems that everyone has a podcast, and it may seem hard to separate your podcast from the rest. But two gentlemen from Texas learned the hard way that going viral for your show can be quite painful. The two were recording a podcast at a coffee shop when a car rammed through the front windows. The entire ordeal was caught on camera. Luckily, nobody involved appeared to be hurt, but that is definitely not how the pair expected their show to take off and go viral. And I also wouldn't blame them if they wanted to take a little getaway after that encounter, but maybe they should avoid this place as a couple in Florida has opened what they call an eerie but elegant Airbnb. It includes a coffin in the bathroom, a Ouija board, and clowns, among others. The couple who runs the location says they wanted to give guests a different vacation experience while also indulging in just a little bit of storytelling. And I would say calling your little getaway creepy but comfortable that certainly gets the point across. Meteorologist Conrad Sapinski joining us now. Conrad, we got clowns watching you when you sleep, Ouija boards on the wall. Would you stay at this place? Be honest. Uh, probably not, Nate. Yeah, I would probably not. not. I mean, unless it's cold outside. <laughs> not really cold out there right now, though. We do have lots of sunshine. Look at Manitowish waters. Lakes, of course, are really frozen. Lots of snow on there. Still some good news for you snowmobilers. 
but things are starting to wind down. We are close to April, and then, of course, May and June is going to be around the corner. Temperatures outside right now, we're hovering at around 38 degrees in town, 39 in Eagle River. Still some pockets of 40s, Land Lakes, Tomahawk coming in with those lower 40s. But once the sun sets, that's when things are really going to cool down. Our average high today should be around 35 degrees with an average low of around 14. But take a look at this. In the year 2000, 73 degrees. Wow, that would melt several inches of our snow. Uh, but those temperatures will be here shortly, maybe within the next month or two. We do have some snow on the way, though. Of course, it's still winter. Winter weather advisories have been posted just south of Wausau. We even have Adams County in a winter storm warning where possibly over six inches of snowfall will be possible and these winter weather advisories have also been extended into the chicago area so they are finally going to get in on some snow thursday night into friday right now though we do have some mostly cloudy skies still some peaks of sunshine in the area the western part of the state does have some steadier snow that will not be reaching our area we're actually going to get some snow tomorrow night into those morning hours on friday so be careful for that morning commute on friday because roads will not be in the best shape especially with those temperatures in and around 20 degrees with some snow falling. But then look what happens. Quickly starts to move out of the area. Later in the afternoon hours on Friday, we will be in the clear. And then into Saturday, in the clear once again before another round of snow does arrive Saturday night into Sunday. Temperatures tonight will continue to cool off. So be careful for some refreezing as the lows will be hovering close to 22 degrees. We'll have more news and weather coming up. Keep your pup happy and healthy with Menards. Greenies Dental Dog Treats help prevent gum disease, fresh in breath, and are fortified with vitamins and minerals to ensure balanced nutrition. A value pack of Greenies Dental Dog Treats are $39.98. Plus, save an additional 11%. Clean up your garage with Libman Cleaning Supplies. The 18-inch push broom comes in smooth, rough, and multi-surface models to accommodate your cleaning needs. Right now, it's $8.89 after rebate at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Looking to make a switch from your current wireless carrier? Make Cellcom your choice. Now, through the end of the month, get six months of service for free with a new smartphone line activation and flex agreement. Choose from the latest phones and a plan that meets all of your wireless needs. Plus, join Cellcom and we'll cover your cost to switch up to $650 per line. Visit Cellcom.com slash save for more details. That's Cellcom.com slash save. For 25 years, Janet Protasewicz was a prosecutor, fighting for justice for victims of crime, helping people like her and him and them. She believes everyone has the right to a safe community. As a judge, Janet upholds the Constitution, and she fiercely guards our rights and our freedoms. Judge Janet will bring change to the court. A common-sense, impartial judge who cares about us. Janet Protasewicz for Supreme Court. Northland Basement Systems is the all-things basement -y company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces, too. When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basement -y in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. should be working three jobs me neither that's why i got four you know what it's like to be broke looking through people's trash for food you do that now you like trash food <laughs> when it's on my terms lopez versus lopez friday on nbc see that girl back there i heard her going on and on about boxing thanks for looking out i made that up this is a prank we got him good what the fuck you don't like it oh we're headed back to her place thank you nikki grand crew friday on nbc and streaming on peacock Welcome back to Up North at 4. So joining us now, we have Joanne and Ogden from the Northwoods Genealogical Society. And I didn't know this until a few days ago, Joanne, but this Saturday is National Genealogical Day, right? Yes. How did this holiday, if you will, come to be? Okay. Um, it was started in about 2013 mm -hmm. in Limerick, Ireland. A okay. church... Had, was celebrating its 200th anniversary and so they invited all their parishioners and the neighboring counties and 
um, Mormons mm -hmm. and some Quakers and invited them in to look at all the birth and death and marriage um, information. Oh, okay. And so it just kind of continued and so now it's just gone forward and it's become um, kind of national worldwide day yeah. to celebrate researching your ancestors. Okay, and so Saturday we have a nice holiday. Yes, yes. Today is actually International <laughs> Women's Day, so oh, happy, yes, happy yes, International you. Women's Day to you and everybody watching. So this is an interesting event coming up on Saturday. Is there any times for this? or? Yes, it's going to be at the Rhinelander District Library mm -hmm. from 10 until 12. Yeah, and Ogden is our chairman of the group, so he knows a little bit more about it. I just have to bring in some displays. <laughs> oh, you got the easy job. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. I was going to say, I don't know if that's so easy, but yeah, I was going to say 10 and 12 is a little bit flexible. So what, what could people expect at this open house? Yes. We have a few goals. Number one would be to just show people what the resources are at the mm -hmm. library, to introduce them to our group, what we can do, what kinds, what kinds of things we can do, help those who are interested in getting started in genealogy, and maybe more importantly, those who have started, somebody in their family yeah, or something, right. who have reached a certain point and they don't know what to do or how well. to yeah. do it. Okay. So some ideas on what to do with the results of your research, how to share it with others, and how to get by those brick walls we all encounter. Very nice. So uh, I'm curious, this is kind of a question for the two of you, but how did the, each of you kind of get involved and start down this path of, you know, researching history? And I'm sure it's a long history, Joanne. Very right? interesting. Where did this yeah. start for you? I, it did. It really started when I was much younger. I used to, uh, Dad talked about a lot of stories and his great-grandfather and mm -hmm. how he didn't want to have, you know, have his uh, salute the Kaiser in Europe, so he was sent to the United <laughs> States. And um, so I have letters collected and information going back, you know, like 50 years or something from relatives. Oh, wow. yeah. So it just was fascinating in the history to go with yeah, it. Yeah. Wow, that's very interesting. Yeah, my grandma recently passed away, but she told us many stories about World War II. She was actually born in Poland, so that's very fascinating. Uh, okay. Lived Same with, uh, mm -hmm. with the last name for me, too. I nice. just found out that a um, whole bunch of them were Poland in that area. Do and you know Eastern any, Europe. any cool old stories? No, well, not yet. Oh, not yet. We're still learning now. Still, <laughs> still learning. learning. Oh yeah, the process. there might be some, but uh, yeah, there's everybody has those skeletons in their closet. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, absolutely. Oh, yes. What about you, though, Ogden? I'm curious. What kind of led you to this group now? Believe it or not, my sister-in-law started. She got a subscription to Ancestry. Mm -hmm. nice. Easy way for people to right, start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My wife got into it. It started consuming her time. And I started out as a passive observer, mm -hmm. and then finally, when I was retired, I got hooked, and unbelievable how much time you can devote because of what you learn. Yeah. And you get so hooked on what you're learning. It's a rabbit hole, right? Yes, and it, it really is. You can is. go for centuries, almost, and depending mm -hmm. on the family. I have to emphasize, it's not just an interest in your family. You expand, and it's the history of where they came from, mm -hmm. what was happening, what caused them to come to the United, well, to the, this country? I'll say that because it wasn't even the United States yeah. for some people. Um, and yeah, it just is really consuming. Yeah, totally. And very educational. Yeah, and awesome. you learn a lot about yourself too. Yes, you know, yes, what kind of genes you have, maybe part this, part that. So I, I, I learned who I, not, who I am not and who I am. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Very All right, so this is a fascinating topic, and I'm sure a lot of people out there are very interested in this. And do you mind sticking around? We can chat a little bit more about okay. it after the Excellent. break. Yes. We're going to do that. Stick with us here on Up North at 4. Looking to feed a group? Rhinelander Pub is the fresh, easy choice for nearly any occasion or event, offering full-service custom catering for parties and events of all sizes. Providing personalized planning assistance and exceptional service. Partner with us to create an unforgettable event. Wickersham Jewelry is excited to announce their 2023 Wedding Band Expo. Three days only, March 9th through the 11th with incredible savings of 20% on the area's largest selection of wedding bands and anniversary rings. Save 20% on the exclusive Love Story collection. Free silicone band with appointment. Take advantage of interest-free financing options. Wickersham Jewelry. If you can dream it, we can make it. Emmer Properties leases office, storage, and manufacturing space, as well as apartments, duplexes, and homes. We are your first call, your last call, your only call for your rental or lease needs. 
Your home where life happens. Family and friends gather. Memories are created. Locally family-owned business serving Rhinelander, Eagle River, and surrounding areas. Come into one of our stores located in Eagle River or Rhinelander and work closely with one of our creative kitchen designers on creating your dream kitchen. Eagle River Cabinets, building relationships, a cabinet at a time. There are so many things we take for granted, and along with them, sometimes we take the people who depend on them for granted, too. How can they survive with record increases in their basic cost of living, and through no fault of their own, they're being left behind? If you or someone you know needs a hand up, our energy and water providers are working together to keep you safely in your home. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. Pet messes, kid spills, life happens. Keep it clean with Alpha Clean. Alpha Clean's low moisture carpet cleaning dries in one to two hours so you can keep getting on with life. It's not clean until it's Alpha Clean. Looking to feed a group? Rhinelander Pub is the fresh, easy choice for nearly any occasion or event, offering full-service custom catering for parties and events of all sizes, providing personalized planning assistance and exceptional service. Partner with us to create an unforgettable event. And welcome on back to Up North at Four. We got Joanne and Ogden joining us from the Northwoods Genealogical Society, which I'm still trying to get that word out. It's You're a tough saying one. It very it's well. a, it is. Yeah. I it's practiced. A I practiced a lot this morning. Anyways, open house event happening this Saturday at the Rhinelander Library, and there's a lot that people can learn not only about themselves but about their family history and the family histories that splinter off of that. And just out of curiosity, this morning. I decided, you know what, I'm going to learn about myself and Conrad, kind of okay. see where we came from. And I learned a little bit about Conrad and the Sapinski family name. And uh, obviously Ancestry.com came up sure. a lot. I'm sure that's a very basic level uh, resource for a lot of people. So I found a map of the Sapinski family and where nice. they were living in like the 1920s in America. I don't know if you got a lot of cousins in Pennsylvania, Conrad. I do actually. Which have you some did cousins. like 100 years ago. So, so I was like, <laughs> this is, I never knew this. And I, you know, I found a lot, a lot about you. So I see New York is highlighted uh -huh, purple. I lived yep. there myself for 14 years. Okay. So yeah, the darker Wisconsin. the color, obviously the better. And the crazy thing was then I was like, all right, my hawk. I got to be finding mm -hmm. my hawk. It's not a very common name. Yep. Nothing. There's what? hardly anything. But then I thought about it. And there's a split uh, at some point in time because I'm M-E-I. H A K and there's people there's some members of my family that split off and they have a C or they have a Y or there's O's I, other eyes in there. Knowing that, what would you guys suggest? Was, How do I start to research I was this? Say, thankfully, many of the search engines now have a sound alike option. Okay. So when you type in a name, they'll say, "Do you want it exactly, or do you want names that sound like this?" Mm, okay. And you put that in, and all of a sudden, you get all those variations you're right, talking right. about. Right. So then, uh, let's say I, I go ahead and I do this. What can I glean from that information that pops up? I mean, you know, you get birth certificates, death certificates, marriage licenses. I'm sure those are maybe the three. Those are some of the obvious most ones, common. Yeah. yeah. Right. What else is like? Could you uncover? You want to go first or should I? No, you can go first. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, some of the things that I've been looking at lately, I think that are most interesting are immigration records. Oh, so yeah, you look yes. at what, who came over on what ship uh -huh. and who came with them. Uh, you, you mentioned census records. Those are biggies. Uh, birth, death, marriage. Uh, who owned what piece of land? When? How did oh. they come into that? Did they sell it? Um, you can look and find pictures of people. Mm -hmm. You can find newspaper articles about them. I always think one of the most interesting things for me is I'm one of those people who came from Illinois and moved up here when they retired and I thought, well, it's, it's a nice place, I know mm -hmm. it. And then I found out this whole area was filled with my relatives. Really? And I wow. did not know that before I moved. I had a, a great uncle who ran a hotel in Antigo I had a grandfather who was a farmer in Merrill, yeah. and it's like, I feel like I've come home in some ways. In, in some ways, yeah. 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 Some yeah. Way. So you, you definitely discover ties to areas 
that from you can, some of that information. Can expect, yeah. It's like Wisconsin's in your blood. Oh, I absolutely. love it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I Some, love it. Something inside of your head was kind of <laughs> like, we got to go back. Home. Yeah, we're going back. Exactly. The, me the mothership was yeah. calling for it. So on average, what's the furthest length we could look back? Maybe 100 years, 150? What would be like that limit, do you guys think? Mm. I have it going back um, on my mother's side, way back to the um, Mayflower coming in. Oh, wow. So um, it's, fa it's fascinating, and it goes all the way back, and then there was a bit of a split in the family uh -huh. um, during the Revolutionary War. Yeah, wow. And found out that some of my relatives fought for King George, and wow. they were the loyalists. Look and then that. after we became yeah. that, then Just they went to Canada. So then that's where you find these interesting that things. So, okay. I feel like we could talk for forever. Hours yep. so on it's, end. Unfortunately, lots, we'll, we are running out of time. History. But but Saturday, open house at the library, Absolutely. ten to two. Go ten, check it out. Ten to twelve, right? Sorry, sorry, ten, to, ten to twelve. Ten to twelve. Yeah. Go check it out because you'll never know what you learned. And obviously, this is a fascinating topic. But thank you both so much yes. for joining right, us you. today. We're going to be right back though on Up North at four. What's the perfect way to spend a summer afternoon at your lake home? On a pier made by Pier of Denoy. We're making a splash with time-saving piers because you deserve more ways to play and enjoy summer days. Made in St. Germain, come and visit us. A convicted felon kidnapped and raped a 15-year-old girl, abducting her off the street in broad daylight. Judge Janet Protasewicz could have sentenced him to 20 years. Instead, she put him back on our streets. What detractors would say is you having been soft on a, a violent sexual crime. I would say that that's ridiculous. Judge Protasewicz puts our families at risk. And putting her on our Supreme Court, that's what's ridiculous. Fair Courts America is responsible for the content of this advertising. The new vehicle shortage is over at Brickner's Park City, Jeep Chrysler Dodge and Ram in Merrill. We have over 110 vehicles in stock or inbound for March delivery, with over 50 Jeeps available in all models, including plug-in hybrid Wranglers and Jeep Grand Cherokee. During Ram Truck Month at the Brickers and Merrill lot, you will find over 35 Ram trucks available. Take advantage of low financing or huge lease rebates on Ram half-ton models and up to $3,000 in cash rebates on Ram heavy-duty models. There's always a whole lot of good going on at Brickner's Park City, Jeep Chrysler Dodge and Ram in Merrill. There are never enough hours in the day. I'm always making trade-offs, sacrifices, but I'll keep going. Even when it feels like there's no way I can do it all. I won't give up. I'm doing this for me and for them. We're doing this together. North Central Technical College's virtual college. Flexible learning because our time is precious. Guess who's making a splash? Here of Denord, of course. We make installing your dock easy enough for just one person, and you don't even have to get wet. With our piers, there's less maintenance, no rust, and no fuss, because we're factory direct. Made in St. Germain, come and visit us. Welcome on back. So, Conrad, there's a fact of life that we all deal with. We all deal with stress mm -hmm. at certain points, whether it's work, family, money, whatever. And everybody has a certain way of dealing with stress, mm -hmm. some ways healthier than others. But apparently, no matter what you do, we're doing it all wrong. I'm about Ooh, to blow your really? mind here, okay. Conrad. Yeah, so apparently a new study has shown that sighing, yes, like, <gasps> That can help relieve some stress. The new study, there's four groups, and the results show that while meditation and controlled breathing does help people's moods, the biggest difference came from sighing. So, Conrad, mm. I'm going to welcome you right now. Okay. Because I want you to be at your tip-top, your best. Give me a nice big sigh. Just, <sighs> do you feel better? Yeah. You, I, you feel, feel I feel refreshed. All right. So I wanted to kind of look together and see okay. how I could do a, a de-stress routine for mm. the two of us. That's it. a little off the walls here. So obviously <laughs> sighing being the number one. Okay. But another one here is apparently crunchy food, when you snack on something, relieves physical tension. And nuts. Mm. Like eating nuts are a good thing yeah. to do it. So I got a sample from my oh, little snack store here. 
So I got a little sampling of nuts here. I don't know what, what you prefer. I got a little mixture. Okay. Let's take Try a little bit. One. Let me know how you're feeling here. All right. Shine's good. How you feeling? <sighs> Give me a good Double sigh. Up. I'm feeling good. You feeling like mm -hmm. stress free, relaxed? Yeah, yeah I'm feeling we good. We might be onto something. Another this one might they be said. Working, yeah. All right. Got to wash down the nut with uh, some gum. Apparently, mm. gum makes you feel more alert. It uh, reduces the stress hormone. We're going to be zen by the mm. end of the show, Conrad. Yeah, we're going to be so great. All right. Okay. Let's soak in. Feeling good? Yeah, I'm feeling great. Relax. I'm wow. helping you out right now. And then last like therapy but not right least, now. <laughs> well, last but not least, a good laugh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? You feel good? Oh, yeah. I'm you feeling feel great good. right All now. Right. <laughs> I, this is one of those things where when you, when, you, when you look at it, it's like, how does this really help mm -hmm. me? But I think if you just placebo and just tell yourself, chewing gum and yeah. sighing feels good, I guess we'll feel good. You try it every day, that'll feel worse. All right. I want you to be works. the most zen, chillest dude <laughs> I've ever met by this time tomorrow <sighs> with this routine. Yeah, I'm feeling good. You sound like a deal? Feeling good. I'm helping you look out for your well-being, all right? Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, Conrad. Gotta we gotta stay chat. healthy. We got a chat while they're here coming up. We're going to do that after the break. And I'm going with that for stick with us. What does it cost to buy off a judge? For extremist Dan Kelly, he's for sale for $20,000. In 2020, Kelly conveniently changed his mind about whether to judge the Tim Zignego case. Kelly had recused himself. Then he pocketed $20,000 in contributions from Zignego and his family, and Kelly unrecused himself so he could judge the case. Justice shouldn't be for sale. Dan Kelly is too corrupt, too extreme. The real value of a number all depends on who you are. After an accident, there's one critical number that helps you get your life back by factoring in your needs for today and tomorrow. That's where Habish Habish and Rotier's numbers really add up. With over 90 years of client successes and 13 offices to help you wherever you are. Trust Habish personal injury attorneys to get the number that's right for you. Call 1-800-2-HABISH. Goodwill starts with you every time you shop and donate. Your support opens the door to new opportunities and creates possibilities for people with barriers to employment. When you shop Goodwill, you'll find home decor, clothing that fits your unique style, and other one-of-a-kind treasures. You'll also keep items out of the landfill, all while supporting job training, financial coaching, and more. When you shop at and donate to Goodwill, you open doors to possibilities for neighbors in your community. Goodwill starts with you. Cracks in brick. Cracks in block. Call SureDry. Leaning or bowing basement walls? Call SureDry. Sticking windows or doors? Call SureDry. Settling or sinking foundation? That's right. Call SureDry. It's a fact. Foundation problems don't get better with time. They get better with SureDry. Schedule your free estimate today. Our experience in the RVA has been wonderful. The teachers are extremely supportive and Simon really seems to enjoy it and is making friends and he's more socially active now than he was in a traditional school. Something I want other kids to know is that even though it seems like you're not getting friends, you actually are. I like how the RVA provides a, an environment that more suited to my needs. Well, Conrad, that time of year, the sun's shining, it feels mm -hmm. good outside, but it's not going to last for long. Is what it's not for here. long, Nate. Right. It's like we had that tease today. It was nice and warm, <sighs> bits of sunshine, do. but here we go again, taking a look outside. More snow is en route. We do have winter weather advisories, even some warnings in Adams County. This is south of us, Sawasa area, and south we'll get four, maybe five, sixty inches of snow. Here in town, though, we're looking at one to three Thursday night into Friday. Nothing. Thank you, though, Connor. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm not going with that floor. Huge online auction, Rhineland, Wisconsin. Complete dispersal of Nicolay Service Center. Four tractors, snap-on tools, auto lift, welders, auto body equipment, and trailers. Contact Brass and St. Louis Auctions for more details. 
Visit Ho-Chunk Gaming Akusa to experience exciting action on the hottest slot machines and electronic table games. With big fun, you get bigger rewards while playing with your rewards club card. Enjoy special gaming offers, food and entertainment discounts, and more. Hungry? No problem. Escape to the oasis of Swiftwater Lounge for drinks, food, and fun. We'll see you at Ho-Chunk Gaming Nakusa, your place to play. Oh, no, I think I lost my debit card. Okay, don't panic. Don't panic. We're in a mall. Some stranger's probably tapping new shoes, tapping a washer-dryer combo, just tapping everything in sight. It's okay. Just tap your phone. With BMO, you can use your phone to freeze and unfreeze a lost card. I can? And you can always get a new card instantly at a BMO branch. I got my tap back. You ever seen someone this excited about a debit card before? Oh, yeah. Oh. Not this excited. When a bank gives you instant peace,